Indah. My name is Tiru Sebastian Kaarto from class 5B. And my option number is 21. Today, I am going to present my mathematics final assignment. There are two questions in high F. Solve the questions. And I'm going to present the answers in this presentation. Let's start. Question 1 is taken from chapter 1 about whole numbers. Question 1. Look at the number below. I have divided this number in word form, expanded form, and explain about what the expanded form is. Here are my answers. Write it in word form. If I write this number in word form, it will be 4,152,080. We put a comma after 4 million and after 100 and after 52,000. So this is the word form for this number. Write it in expanded form. Expanded form is we expand the number according to its place value. So if we make, if we write this number in expanded form, it will be like this: number four for four million, number one for one hundred thousand, number five for fifty thousand, number two for two thousand, number eight for eighty. This is the expanded form of this number. Explain what is expanded form. Expanded form means that we break up a number. Example, this number, 1,432. According to its place value, number 1 is for 1,000, number 4 is in the hundreds place, number three is in the tens place, number two is in the ones place. And expand it to show the value of each digit. So we expand this number to show the value of each digit. So it will be like this. 1000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 2. So, expanded form is, so this is the example of expanded form. Question 2 is taken from chapter 2 about operations of whole numbers. Question 2. Gabby bought 24 boxes of beads. Each box contained 245 beads. There were 2,184 purple beads and the rest were blue beads. She used all the blue beads to make 42 bracelets. How many blue beads were used for each bracelet? For this question, I must draw a model, write the process completely and write the closing statement with the card in it. Here are my answers. Step 1. Find the number of total beads altogether. We know that Gabby bought 24 boxes of beads and each box contained 245 beads. So, this is my model. 24 boxes of beads and each box contained 245 beads. So, we need to find the total beads all together. To do this, we need to do the pro this process. The total number of beads all together is 24 boxes, total boxes times 245 beads inside one box. So we get 5,880 beads. So the total beads all together is 5,880 beads. Question 2. 
step 2. Find the number of blue beads. We know there were 2,184 purple beads and the rest were blue beads. This is my model. We know there were 2,184 purple beads. Purple beads equals 2,184 beads. And from step 1, we know that the total beads altogether is 5,880 beads. So, the process is the number of beads altogether minus the number of purple beads to get the blue beads. So, it will be like 5,880 minus 2,184 equals 3,696 beads. So, there were 3,696 blue beads. Step 3. Find the number of blue beads to make one bracelet. We know that she used all the blue beads to make 42 bracelets. This is my model. So we know she used all the blue beads. All the blue beads is 3,696 beads to make 42 bracelets. So to find the final answer, we need to find what each one one unit so the process is like this we know the total bracelet is 42 bracelet total blue beads is 306 3696 beads from step 2 so to find the to find one to find how many blue beads we use for each bracelet? We need to divide the blue beads with the total bracelet. So the process will be like this: three thousand six hundred and ninety-six divided forty-two equals eighty-eight beads. So the number of blue beads to make one bracelet is eighty-eight beads. So my summary is question one taken from chapter 1 about whole numbers and question 2 is taken from chapter 2 about operations of whole numbers. Thank you for watching.